ain't gon' lie, girl, I can't front Girl, I'm so proud of you You kept it together, girl, after all that shit you been through Look at you now, good job at the graduate school If nobody noticed the work you put in, shout it, just know that I do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you are new If you are new and you like this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up Chat with me in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel So, as y'all can tell by the title, your girl is finally doing this wasn't really a requested video, but I do get a lot of questions on my natural hair every time I post it. What am I doing? What have I been doing? How is my hair growing so fast? Ah, ah, ah. So, in this video, it probably would have been smart for me to wear my natural hair down. But I'm going to include plenty of pictures and videos for reference for you guys. But today, I just happened to have it slicked back in a bun, which a couple of months ago, your girl wasn't able to do this. But anyways, a little background story for those of you guys who are new and who do not know my big chop story journey kind of thing. So, I initially, my hair used to be a little past my um, bra, strap length, uh, bra strap. Again, I'm going to insert plenty of pictures and videos for reference for you guys. So... I initially cut my hair up to my shoulders while it was wet back in November 2018. When I had did that, I did post it on my Instagram. I posted the video of me cutting it. I was like, oh my mom, oh my god, my mom's gonna kill me. I cut a lot of hair off, y'all, while it was wet too. So it was hella uneven, wasn't smart. Anyway, so did that. And again, I posted publicly for everybody to see. A couple of weeks later, I winded up cutting my hair I had maybe like two, three inches of hair. This nobody knew about, but I think I do still have the picture because I sent a picture to my friend. Um, at this point, nobody had knew that I cut my hair that short. Like nobody, just my boyfriend and my one friend that I had told at the time. Then I eventually told some more of my friends, but like my family did not know at all. So then um, with me having like two, three inches of hair, I did it myself. I just used regular scissors. So I knew my hair was hella uneven. So I went to this girl that used to straighten my hair for me and I wanted her to cut it for me. And she gave me such a hard time about cutting my hair, y'all. She really got me upset that day. Cause at the end of the day, you're the stylist. I'm paying you to do what I asked for. Don't try to tell me, oh, I don't think it's going to look good. I don't think you should. I don't care what you think. I'm I'm paying you to do something. Just do it. So she did something. She did nothing, y'all, but still charged me for it. And she just had an attitude throughout the whole day. So that was actually the last time I talked to that girl, too, because she really upset me. So um, I went to her initially to uh, even out the haircut nothing got done so there was this other girl on campus that she braided my hair uh the summer prior to that and she naturally rocked a short haircut so i knew she had clippers so i asked her if she could even out my hair for me or whatever so when i got to her room she was so scared because she knew how long my hair was but at this point when i'm going to her i already had only like two inches of hair and i did begin to record y'all Depending how crazy I look on that clip, I'll probably insert that too. I did begin to uh, record before she started to cut it off. Oh my god. That's good. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. You know how long my hair was, and she was so scared to cut it. So I'm like, girl, give me the um clippers. I'm going to show you how low I want it. So I just wanted a low buzz cut, okay? Like, I wanted a little bit of hair. I just wanted it to be even. I wanted up giving myself a bald spot, y'all. So at this point, I had no choice but to go bald. So I gave myself the bald spot, and then she just finished the job for me. I was scalp bald, y'all. Scalp bald. And, like, I didn't cry. I wasn't upset because at the end of the day, I did it. I gave myself the bald spot. I messed up my own hair. Now, if somebody else would have did that, I probably would have been pissed. But being that I did this myself, I couldn't really be mad at nobody. But I was definitely shock i'm like yo i'm really bold like bald okay so to an extent though i feel like i did need to go bald because even with that two to three inches of hair while my hair was wet the middle part of my hair was still the middle part in the front of my hair was still very damaged and i'm like yo i barely got any hair how are you still damaged so going bald was honestly probably the best decision for me so everything happened for a reason so the day that I actually went bald bald was January 11th, 2019. So it had just recently made two years since I was scalp 
bold. And I just wanted to give you guys the tips and things that I've been doing that I feel helped grow my hair um, hair back. What I do is a little different from what other people do. And again, this is what I did. I'm just sharing with you guys. You guys can definitely try it out. It may or may not work for you. Everybody's hair is different. But I did make a little list in my phone because y'all know I can start talking and get all over the place. And this video really shouldn't be that long. So I want to stay on track. So first thing on my list that I did was protective styling. As I've mentioned, the first time I cut my hair when I still had that two to three inches before I went bald, nobody knew but my boyfriend and my friends. When I went bald, bald, still nobody knew but my boyfriend and my friends. I didn't tell you guys on YouTube. I didn't tell my family. I definitely didn't tell my family. Um, so nobody really knew. I was wearing wigs, y'all, legit, for a year plus straight. I didn't come on and let you guys know that I went bald till a year and some months after I went bald. Like, I, let me see when was that video that I had posted letting y'all know that I big chopped. I kept it a secret for so long and like looking back at it, I really wish I didn't. Like, I really wish I would have vlogged the process of me getting my hair shaved off. Like, it is crazy, y'all. It is crazy. Okay, so it wasn't a year that had went by before I told y'all. I shaved my head January 11th, 2019. I told you guys in August, so it hasn't been, it wasn't that long. Um, I say all that to say, even after I told you guys, I was consistently wearing wigs, only wigs, for a year straight because I couldn't do nothing else with my hair. It was at that stage that it was too short for me to like how a wash and go looked on me. It was too short to go in a ponytail. It was too short to go in a bun. I didn't really know what else to do with it. So I kept my hair braided and wearing wigs. So that's something that worked for me, protective styling, because ultimately my hands weren't in my hair. I wasn't really manipulating it. Is that another thing on my um list? No, so yeah. Protective styling, I would highly, highly, highly rec recommend keep your hands out of your hair, okay? Don't do too much to it. And my hair would stay braided for my wigs for a long, ex long period of time. I probably got my hair braided like once a month, once every month and a half. Like, I kept my braids for a very, very long time, which leads me to the next point. I only wash my hair once a month. Don't judge me, judge your mama. I don't care how that may sound, but I, you know, grew up learning thinking that hair grows faster when it's dirty and I guess it's working for me because I literally wash my hair once a month I wash my hair every time I get it braided I also feel like this kind of has something to do with the fact that I don't wear my natural hair out that much I feel like if I was one of those naturals that you know did wash and goes frequent frequently braid outs frequently which will soon be me when my hair get a little bit longer but if I was one of those naturals I probably would wash my hair a lot more but being that I was getting braid downs and I was paying somebody else to do my braid downs. I wasn't really doing it myself. <laughs> Ooh, sorry y'all, I got hiccups. Um, so, you know, I would keep it in as long as I could till it really started looking crazy. So, limited washing. I only wash my hair once a month. So, my next tip, we all know one of the biggest keys to hair growth is, you know, hydration in your hair, making sure your hair is moisturized. So, y'all probably like, Kalea, if you're only washing your hair once a month, how is your hair getting moistured? Moisturized, whatever. <laughs> so, um... Of course, make sure you are frequently moisturizing your hair while it is in your protective style, whatever that may be. So what I would do is I would either, one, shower without a shower cap or a bonnet or anything on. And while I'm in the shower, you know, the heat, the humidity, the steam, and sometimes water would just get on my head. So that's moisturizing it. And then when I would get out the shower to lock in, to seal in that moisture, I would use an oil. I do sell a hair oil that I have been using since last summer, and I've definitely noticed a boost in my hair growth from august 2019 what year are we in 2020 august 2020 to now and i'm gonna insert um pictures or a clip whatever i can find of august 2020 when i first started using my oil compared to now mind y'all i was pregnant last summer and you know haters will say your hair only grew because you was pregnant i personally feel like my hair did not grow at all well no it grew while i was pregnant but visually my hair was very stagnant while i was pregnant i'm again i'm gonna insert pictures and everything to back up what i'm saying but from jen i, I got ultimately if we do the math of the dates and all of that I would have gotten pregnant in January 2019. 20, y'all, I'm all, like, we're at the beginning of a new year, so it's throwing off my year count. At the beginning of 2020, January 2020 is when I would have gotten pregnant. My hair from January 2020 to August 2020 is not that much of a difference compared 
to August 2020 to now January 2021. Like from January to August, that's a seven month difference compared to September, I mean August to now, which is like a four or five month difference. That amount of growth is just ridiculous. I hope I'm making sense of my all over the place. But yeah, I do not think my hair grew because I was pregnant. If so, my hair grew. I mean, if anything, my hair grew less. Hoping that makes sense to y'all. So back to what I was saying about the whole um, moisturizing hair thing. So another way I would moisturize my hair is I would just randomly see the spray bottle. And I'm like, you know what? Let me spray my hair. So I would just literally spray my hair. The best form of hydration for your hair is water so I would just spray my hair with the water and then seal it in with the oil and call it a day again my hair was literally y'all from the time I went bald from the time I had enough hair to braid till now my hair has been braided up 94% of the time of me being natural I barely ever have my hair out now that it's gotten longer though I am you know embracing it having it out a little bit more you know doing some more stuff to it but prior to December my hair has always been braided underneath a wig so that's my moisturization um tips of course you can use anything you want oh is this another point on my it's not but it does have to do with moisturizing in a sense so like I said, I do wash my hair once a month, but every time I wash my hair, y'all, I deep condition. Every single time I deep condition. Um, apparently, the deep conditioner I use is also kind of like a protein treatment. So I guess my hair likes protein. Again, since I, I barely have my hair out, I don't know that much about it, y'all. I don't really know my porosity. Um, I don't know whether, well, I'm assuming my hair does like protein. I don't really know my hair type. But again, since it's growing, I'm going to start getting into all of that this year. Um... So I do assume my hair does like protein because it does very well with this deep conditioner. I talk about it all the time. It's the ORS hair mayonnaise. And yeah, my hair loves that stuff. So every single time I wash my hair, I do deep condition. I don't add heat to it. I just put a plastic um, cap over my head for like 20, 25 minutes. And it accumulates its own heat. And then I wash it out. So yeah. Now, if you're one of those people that wash your hair every two weeks, a protein um deep conditioner i wouldn't really recommend doing every time but deep condition your hair at least once a month okay and being that that's only when i wash my hair once a month works for me so next on my list i have none slash limited heat i straightened my hair for the first time um for my baby shower which was in november which was a year and 10 months after I went bald. And I straightened my hair because the hairstyle I was getting required me, um, my hair to be straightened. The next time that I straightened my hair was in December of 2020. And this time we went all out. Like it got straight, straight. The first time she didn't straighten it till it's full capacity because it didn't really need to be straight, straight. Um, so I've only straightened my hair twice since I've been natural. Um, at the very, very beginning, I was trying not to even blow dry my hair, but as it started growing longer, like before I was just slicking it back with gel because, you know, I couldn't really braid it. Um, but then when it got to the length that it could be braiding, I wasn't braiding my own hair and to prevent somebody else from having to snag out my hair because it was so difficult to comb when it was air dry, I just blew dry it for them. So I do blow dry my hair, but it's only once a month after I wash it to get braided. So limited heat to your hair, I definitely feel will help it grow. So my next tip is you always want to make sure you go to sleep with something on your head. Okay, y'all? Something, anything. Do not just have your bare hair out. Granted, I'm a little wild sleeper, so sometimes my stuff does fall off in the middle of the night. Um, in that case, use a do-rag, y'all, okay? Those nights that I'm noticing that my bonnet keep falling um, off back-to-back, -back, I just put on a do-rag because my do-rag ain't going nowhere, okay? So you want to make sure your hair is secure and protect protected. I did buy a satin um, pillowcase, but I have yet to use it. But I did hear that it does work if you have a satin um, pillowcase and your bonnet does fall off in the middle of the night or whatever or you forget to put it on your hair won't be as damaged but make sure that your hair is protected at night when you're going to sleep at all times i am a firm believer that hair growth is not the problem everybody's hair is gonna grow y'all if y'all bleach your hair or dye it you're gonna see the progress of it growing you're gonna see your new growth growing back black while your hair is a different color but some people may not actually see that retention and length your hair is growing clearly but your hair looks the same length why because it's breaking off at the end and not sleeping with something on your head can definitely aid to this issue so make sure your hair is protected at night y'all okay so my last 
thing that I have done since my hair started growing back. A lot of people may not agree with this, but I detangle my hair while it is still dry, okay? And a lot of people say don't do that because your hair is going to break up, blah, blah, blah. If your hair want to break, it's going to break regardless, regardless of it's wet, regardless if it's dry. I detangle my hair while it is dry. I always do it right before I wash my hair. Before I wash my hair, I probably just took my hair out of some braids. So if I take my hair out of braids and I just hop in the shower, wet it, it's going to be a tangled mess, y'all. It's going to be a tangled mess. And then I'm adding all this conditioner and try to detangle it while it's wet. I'm going to lose just as much, if not probably more hair than if I would have just detangled it while it was dry. Okay, so I detangle my hair while it is dry. Regardless, you're going to lose some hair. I wanted to add that I also mainly detangle my hair while it is dry because when I'm washing my hair, I probably just took it out of braids. Now, if you're someone who does do wash and goes and, you know, like twist outs, braid outs, I wouldn't recommend um, combing your hair, brushing it while it is dry because you will lose a lot. If you're leaving a wash and go or a hairstyle, go ahead and just detangle your hair in the shower. Okay, just while it's wet, it's going to snag a little more. Whereas if it's dry, you're probably only really going to lose the naturally shed hair that you would have lost anyways. Also, while I am detangling my hair, I don't know if you guys ever noticed in any of my wash day videos or anything like that. I start from the bottom and work my way up. Okay, I hold the bottom of my hair and start combing out and then I work my way up rather than just starting from the bottom and work my way up because I can still snag the top. Whereas that grip right here kind of prevents me from pulling the hair from my scalp or breaking anything that I'm not combing. I really hope that made sense to y'all. And that's another thing. I try to um, finger detangle, but let's be honest, sometimes it don't always work. So I do be using wide tooth combs while I'm in the actual shower or even when I am detangling. When I'm detangling when my hair is dry, I definitely use my hot, I mean my wide tooth comb while I'm in the shower. I start off trying to finger detangle, but then it becomes too much and I'm not getting all the knots and I feel like I'm just pulling my hair way more than I need to. And I find that using a wide tooth comb is a lot easier. I just wouldn't recommend really um, using a brush or anything while your hair is wet that is when you may lose more hair because your um brush is gonna snag your hair is gonna snag and the bristles of the brush and all that other stuff so detangle working from the bottom of your hair on i mean upwards and again it's a it's a preference thing i personally detangle my hair while it was why yeah. while it is dry you can continue to or choose to um detangle your hair while it is wet do whatever works for you again this video is just what i did what worked for me what i feel like aided to my hair growth it's not a definite video like oh yeah me doing this definitely is what helped my hair grow blah blah, blah. i'm just letting you guys know what i did and what could have possibly helped with my hair growth my little tips and advice of what i suggest you know you guys can do but at the end of the day it's your hair it's up to you um let me know you guys's hair routine in the comments below what you guys do to help your hair grow um any tips that you guys have you know people re do read my comments so if anything they can go off what you guys are saying and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was semi helpful i hope it's not too long when i go back and edit because this really should have been a one two three right to the point kind of video but once again if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed to my channel Follow me on Instagram because Instagram definitely gets the first updates, anything on my natural hair. So my Instagram is k.shantrice. Give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. It's unexpected but it made you better. Girl ain't no time to cry about what you could have done better.